I lost 125 pounds last year and I want to show you how you can lose weight too. <laughs> Hey guys, it's David Packer, and if you don't know me, I'm on a mission to lose 300 pounds, and I document that here on my YouTube channel. And like I said, in 2021, I had some success that I'm very proud of. I lost 125 pounds, and I want, I've realized I've never laid out kind of what I did, how I did that to people publicly. So I wanted to make a video and tell you guys how I did that. And just like Poe found out in the movie Kung Fu Panda, there is no secret ingredient, there's no secret sauce. So if you're here trying to find that weird hack or doctors hate him because of this one weird way he loses weight, uh, that's not this video. If you're trying to lose five pounds quick before the high school reunion, that is not this video. Uh, this video is to tell you my measured and step-by-step -step approach on how I slowly yet sustainably lost weight and had a lot of success. Now there are a lot of diets and programs out there so I'm not trying to say that mine's the only or the best way but I am saying that in under 10 minutes I'm going to show you what exactly I did so without further ado let's start with step one. Step number one is to find your reason why. So why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to lose fat? Is there a specific purpose or goal that you've intended for why you want to do so? I would even encourage you to write it down. To write down why you want to lose it, what's your purpose, and also to write down your feelings, to also write down your envisioning of what it will look like, how your life will be affected and those loved ones around you once you have lost the weight. And the other reason why it's so important to have your reasons why is because that really can power you through some of those hard times because this is a difficult and long journey. Some people have a longer journey than others. I have still 200 pounds to lose, uh, if not more. So it, it's definitely unique for each individual but if you know your reason why you want to lose weight and you've written that down and you've envisioned it it'll get you I think through those hard times when you say I'm done I don't want to do this this is really hard so I, I think it can have a benefit for you all right moving on to step two this is a more of a concrete step and that is to calculate your TDEE -E. and basically what that stands for is your total daily energy expenditure and it's made up of three things Number one is your basal metabolic rate. So that's the amount of calories that your body burns just basically to stay alive, to run your organs, to be a living being. And so that's about usually 60% or so of all the calories that you burn. Number two that burns calories is your thermal effect of food. So that's how many calories your body burns in order to digest your food that you consume. And the third thing, of course, is your physical activity. That also burns calories. Those three things together combined total your TDEE -E, or your total daily energy expenditure. Now, why is that so important to know? The reason why it's so important is if you're able to consume calories slightly below at a caloric deficit of your TDEE, -E, then you will lose weight. And I did put a link in the description down below to my personal favorite TDEE -E calculator. It's not sponsored or affiliated or anything like that. It's just the one that I like to use. And one of the reasons I really like to use it is because it shows you right there, it says, okay, if you want to lose a little bit of weight over time, you can have a slight deficit and you eat this many calories. Or if you want to have a more drastic weight loss, that you have this many calories and you'll lose more drastically. And their recommendation is do not eat less calories than your estimated BMR, because like I said, that's your base calories of what you need to be a regular functioning person with your organs and all that. So let's say your TDEE was 2000 calories and you decided, okay, I'm gonna have a slight deficit at 1800 calories is what I'm gonna consume every day. Then that would be your plan that you could follow and that gets us into the next step. Then of course the third step is to track your calories, whether you do it on an app, manually, on a computer, website, however you choose to do it is completely up to you. Probably one of the most popular and the one that I use is MyFitnessPal. It's a completely free app. There are some paid options you can get or premium versions you can get, but the base one is completely free and I love it because it can help you track your calories fairly accurately, I think. And you can also take progress photos, you can track your weight. And like I said, all those functions are completely free. And I can even show you in under a minute. Let's go ahead and pull up my app here, my fitness pal. And we have here a sample day. So I could say for breakfast I had let's say a banana and add that and let's say I also had let's say 
Some of my favorites here are chicken soup from Chick-fil-A. Perfect. And then we have lunch. I'd say I had two of the chicken burritos from El Pollo Loco. And as you can see there, the app tells me, okay, you've had this many calories, you have this many left for dinner or for snacks. So honestly, this would be a pretty great day if I had something like this because I would have 1300 left for dinner. And that's kind of a side tip, guys. I do tend to personally uh, add in intermittent fasting to this. So what I will do is I will skip breakfast, maybe have a light lunch, and then I'll have a heavier dinner. This is what's worked for me is because I know at dinner time I'm used to having a larger meal. That's when I like to have a larger meal. So that's when I allocate the most calories for me. And like I said, it's worked having lost 125 pounds last year. So that pretty much wraps up step three. It's just having that tracking of that caloric uh, goal that you set in step two. So you're trying to keep at that deficit. And of course I understand, and I've had it where it's not, not a perfect thing. You know, you, you are gonna have days where you go over or maybe you have it built in where you say, okay, I have a cheat meal on this day, however you wanna do it. But if you're able to consistently meet your goal, you are gonna see success. Step number four is to have a support or even a partner that helps you along the journey. So if you've watched some of my older videos, you know that my wife and I both had this large goal of losing weight. And so it was just awesome to have somebody with uh, cooking and meal planning, going to the gym together. We were just completely on the same page with what we wanted to do with our lives and to better our lives. So it just made it that much easier to be on the same path. So likewise for you, if you live with parents, roommate, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever you live with, just have a talk with them and say, hey, I'm really wanting to lose weight. Uh, here's what would really help me out or are you trying to eat healthier too? Maybe we could do something together. So just, just talk it out and have that support. I've seen a lot of people have success with accountability, weight loss buddies, where they go on walks together, walk the dogs together, hikes, meet up at the gym, uh, meet up for a healthy meal somewhere. You know, there's so many ways you can build that support, but I really think, you know, humans, we're social creatures. So we do a lot better, even us very introverted people do a lot better when we have the support of others around us. Step number five is bend, don't break. So that's a common phrase used in football where you kind of set up on the defensive scheme where you're set back more, where you don't allow big plays, but you will allow little plays that don't result in ultimately your defeat. So I think that that same kind of mentality is exactly what you need to succeed in weight loss because you are going to bend, like we mentioned before, you're gonna make mistakes. There are gonna be days where you're like, oh, why did I eat all that? Like, I feel terrible for doing that. But if you can bend, not break, if you know that, okay, I had a bad night, but that doesn't mean that I'm off my total plan, then you will have success. This past year, I messed up so many times, so, so over, 20 times at least I messed up and ate something that I felt bad about. But because I overall stuck to my plan of a caloric deficit, I was able to still have success and still lose 2.5 pounds on average every week. Think about that. On average, I lost two and a half pounds every single week last year because I was able to stick to the plan overall, even though I had some mistakes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are my five steps on how I lost 125 pounds last year and how I'm going to continue and lose 125 pounds again in 2022. So thank you so much. If you want to see me lose that 125 pounds in 2022, please subscribe and like below and I'll see you in the next video. No matter your girth, you have worth.